Hello there ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about this new documentary called Quiet On Set. It's like a docu-series that revolves around the shit that child stars, mainly Nickelodeon ones, had to go through. And man, they went through some terrible shit. A big part of this series was the shit that Dan Schneider made all these kids do. Dude was a fucking weirdo. But I think we all kind of knew that. Like, a lot of shit has already come out saying that, oh, Dan Schneider wasn't really the best person to be around kids. Anyways, I'm not talking about him today. Today I want to talk about a specific child actor on Nickelodeon that went through some of the worst shit I've ever seen. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Yes, today we are talking about Drake Bell and the sexual abuse he was being put through by this evil man right here, Brian Peck. Now, I'm assuming y'all know Drake Bell from the hit Nickelodeon TV show, Drake and Josh. That show was fire. I used to love watching that show as a kid. Nickelodeon used to be the shit back in the day, until it came out that all these producers were all weirdos and shit. So yeah, Drake Bell from Drake and Josh was being sexually abused by this guy named Brian Peck. Brian Peck was like Drake's manager, and he would invite Drake over at Disneyland and at his place like all the time, and be a little weird to the point that even Drake Bell's dad was like, hey, I don't want that guy around my son, but his dad wasn't his manager anymore, and didn't know the extent of Brian Peck's harassment on Drake Bell. I was sleeping on the couch where I would usually sleep, and, and uh, I woke up to him um, I, I just opened my eyes, I woke up and he was uh, he was sexually assaulting me. And it just got worse and worse and worse. Brian Peck was abusing Drake like on the daily man. And if Drake Bell didn't want to go to his place any of those days, he would get upset and just start harassing him by like spamming calls trying to get him to go to his place and try to tell him like hey we're going to Disneyland come on let's go right now like holy shit that dude's fucking evil and then there's this one part of the documentary where Drake Bell was at his girlfriend's place and Brian Peck just kept spam calling his girlfriend's place trying to get Drake to come over like holy shit Brian Peck was out here trying to compete against the little girl just so he can get Drake like what the fuck and Drake's girlfriend's mom kind of noticed that hey, this is kind of weird. Some old ass man is trying to get this young boy to be with him alone. And when confronted about this, Drake just didn't know what to say because, well, he was scared. But then he started to go to therapy after that and eventually broke down and just explained everything to his mother, which then caused a case to be made against Brian Peck. The law was finally getting involved, which was a great thing. But at the time of this case, it wasn't revealed that Drake Bell was the one that was getting abused used the public only knew that it was a young child star but oh man the shit that he went through was fucking terrible screamed into the phone everything that had been happening to me the court documents detail the horrifying assaults Bell survived from sodomy to forcible penetration with an object. And there was more shit too. A lot of shit that's not really safe for YouTube. And you would think Brian Peck would be in jail for a really long time. But too bad Brian Peck had a lot of supporters. And a lot of powerful people were writing letters to the judge and defending Brian Peck. So in the end, Brian Peck was charged with only two of the 11 charges, which includes the oral copulation with a minor under 16, and performing a lewd act with a 14 or 15 year old. And his sentence was only 16 months. And he was also registered as a sex offender. Man, only 16 months for all the shit he put Drake through? That is, that is an embarrassment to the judicial system in the United States. Like what the fuck? How can a man who just abuses a child 
for so long, only be in prison for 16 months, like what the fuck? It was probably due to the amount of supporters he had, but like, oh my god. Like, this shit was confirmed. It was confirmed that he did this stuff to Drake Bell. Like, he even snitched on himself in a phone call saying he did all this stuff. And he still only got 16 months. And you want to know what's the worst part about this? Right after getting out of jail, Brian Peck was hired by Disney to work on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Now, Disney fired him right after finding out of what he did, but how in hell did he get the job in the first place? Like, d didn't Disney had like any background checks or something? I feel like it'd be hard to miss that, oh shit, this dude's a registered sex offender. Let's see what he did. Oh my god. Like, I don't know, man. Like, holy fucking shit. I just think all of Hollywood's evil at this point. Especially if a man like that can spend so little time in prison and get a job right after. There's gotta be some evil shit going on if that's the shit that happens. But yeah, anyways, it wasn't really known that Drake Bell was the kid that got abused by Brian Peck until this documentary came out. And man, I feel bad for him. Like, I used to love watching Drake and Josh, but now knowing the shit this guy went through just kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth whenever I watch a show now. Like, I feel bad. I feel bad, man. That type of shit should not have happened, but it's obvious that Nickelodeon was very incompetent of keeping children safe at the time. And that also goes for a lot of TV networks. They all kind of just suck at keeping children safe. But hey, I'm glad that Drake Bell was able to talk about this. I hope he can find some peace now knowing that people know the truth of what actually happened. And also, I hope Brian Peck gets run over by a car. Cause damn, a man like that should not be walking around in the streets somewhere. Anyways, I think that's all for me today. I just kind of wanted to talk about this since I watched this last night with my sister. If y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Adios and bye bye